Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this dark espresso bed and giving it a makeover. I'm gonna create a driftwood natural look only using paint and waxes. So if you wanna see how I get this wood faux finish, just keep watching. Today's video is sponsored by Betty's. You guys have seen their amazing bedding featured on my channel before. It is perfect for kids because they can zip their way to a made bed in the morning. They're super soft and come in one piece and are great for platform beds, which is what I'm gonna be working with today. So I will talk to you about the set that I picked out and more about Betty's later in the video, but let's go ahead and jump into this makeover. Here is the bed I'm gonna be making over today. This belongs to my oldest son and it's about 10 years old because this used to be his crib, which you can tell here from teething marks that he has on here. This thing has been moved four times and at one point he carved his name in here and took a hot wheel to the top. So I'm gonna be doing lots of filling, but my first step as always is I'm gonna give this thing a really good cleaning with some soap and water. Echo. Play the latest Zebra blog before and after podcast. I love listening to this podcast while I'm painting you guys and I wanted to throw in a plug for it because I'm going to be using some zebra brushes today. But back to cleaning. Um, I'm just cleaning this with my Dixie Belle White Lightning. You can use any type of cleanser you have. You just want to make sure that when you're done, you rinse it off with some water. And then I always dry mine off with a paper towel as well before I get to painting. And like I said, I'm going to do a lot of filling today. So I just grabbed my DAP plastic wood in the color natural and I'm filling all my gouges and the unfortunate Hot Wheels incident that I mentioned earlier on top here. I also decided to remove these decorative pieces that were on the front. Since this was a crib, it had these pieces on the front, but they're not on the headboard. And so it just looked kind of, you know, unnecessary to me. And I like kind of taking decorative trim off now. So I ripped these off and filled those holes in and sanded those down. Since I did so much filling, I did grab my orbital sander and sanded all this down. It would have taken me forever to do this by hand. This does create a lot of dust inside, so I really don't recommend doing this inside, but I wanted to get through all this sanding, so I did have a lot of cleanup and a lot of dusting off to do after I was done with this. So I wanted to lighten this up and get a natural wood look without having to strip this completely down with sanding or chemical stripper. So I grabbed Dixie Belle's sandbar. This is a really light beige and I'm going to be applying this with my Zebra Palm Pro. And I'm also going to be using another one of my Zebra favorites, which is the square brush. I really like working with these brushes because they hold a lot of paint and they make really good coverage and they're synthetic so they have a really smooth application. For the look I was going for, I know I wanted it to kind of look like wood versus being painted. So I'm just keeping all my brush strokes going in the same direction with the wood grain because I kind of want to mimic the look of wood, if that makes sense. The square brush worked super awesome for this project. I talk about this brush a lot just because I love the way that it gets into details. Um, it helped making paint in between these slats super easy. And the way it gets into little details like this just always amazes me. Mm -hmm. 
the coverage with this light color over this dark espresso wood was really impressive. I only had to do two coats. Here I am finishing up the second coat. Okay, this is when things get interesting because I tested out doing like a mix of clear wax and dark wax on top of this paint on a sample board and it looked really great. But when I tried to create that in real life by first laying down my clear wax and then adding my dark wax on top, it got really muddy really quickly and I was not happy. So at this point I got some mineral spirits and I stripped all of that dark wax off because I didn't like the way it was looking and I decided to go back to the drawing board. I'm using Annie Sloan clear wax and dark wax by the way um, in case you couldn't tell. So what I did was I took a big hunk of clear wax and just a tiny tiny bit of dark wax and I mixed those all together and I decided to use that as my base coat. The idea was to mellow this out a little bit but I still wanted to incorporate those brown tones to make it look more like a natural wood. I'm still going to be using my dedicated dark wax brush which is my waxing brush by Coda Artisans and I'm taking that really light tinted wax that I made and I'm just applying it over the entire piece and you can see how it's just adding a little bit of depth and a little bit of warmth so I was way happier with this than the first approach that I took. And just like you typically see me do with a clear wax, I am going to take one of my lint-free rags and wipe that down. Um, and I'm doing the same type of process, like doing a two by two foot radius and then wiping it down um, and getting that excess off. So here's a side by side comparison. You can see how that wax is really deepening that up. But I wanted to take it a little further. Once I got the whole piece waxed, I took dark wax and I kind of did a dry brushing technique with dark wax. I've never done anything like this before. I just kind of started going with it and I made like little streaks all along it to kind of look like wood grain and imperfections in the wood. I know that's a super huge blob in the middle. I'm going to show you how to fix that, but you basically want to try to get all the wax off to do this technique so that it's really subtle and soft. Um, if you do get a big blob like this, try to just kind of rub it down with your lint free cloth. That did not do the trick here, just trying to blend it out. So what I actually did was I took that original lightly tinted wax that I put over the whole piece, got a little bit of that on my rag, and then came back in and wiped over that. And that tones it down a little bit. And then you can go back over it with the wax brush and put more um, marks in there. But once you get all your little wood grain marks that you wanna make, you just keep buffing and adding more. And then my last step is I actually took the wax brush again, really dry brush a lot of that wax off and just buffed over the entire piece. And this just kind of blended and meshed everything back together. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. And I think it actually looks like a wood finish. Um, it was definitely a lot easier than sanding this back or stripping the existing finish off. And it looks light and beautiful. And we also went ahead and reinforced this bed so that we could get rid of the box spring and make this a platform bed again. So we are ready to put this baby back together and get our beddies on. We picked the Ivy League set. This is a full bed set, so it includes two pillowcases and two shams. And we actually got the bundle as well. So you get all the accessory pillows and it comes with a blanket and the decorative covers. So you can save some money by bundling everything together. And you can also save money by checking out my discount code that will be in the description box. You get in? <laughs> what do you think? So soft. Betty's is not just stylish and super comfortable. It is really easy for the kids to make so they can just zip their way to a made bed in the morning. 
So just to remind you, here is what we started off with, a pretty dark, gloomy room, and here it is now. What a difference this paint makes. The bedding looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm really loving this faux wood finish. It was definitely easier than sanding this whole thing down, and it was fun to play around with the wax and be really artistic and create that faux wood look. Thank you, as always, for joining me for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. Don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe, do all the things before you leave. I will be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here, you guys, and I will see you next time. Would you tell us your name? My name is Jackson. <laughs> Do you remember doing this when you were little? I guess. Do you remember what happened here? I remember what happened here, but what yeah, it was here? just a car. I just scraped yeah. a car thing on the edge. Of that was an unfortunate day. <laughs> is this the most comfortable bed you've ever slept in? Yes, it is. Are you so excited? Yeah. Is it everything you dreamed of one more? <laughs>